Another interesting aspect of, of the evolution of this hyper-connected world where everything that can be connected seems to be getting connected, another area that's evolving quickly is the area of sensors, uh, the ability for networked intelligence to start to detect and understand the world around us. We tend to think of just a few inputs, um, you know, smart devices, your keyboard perhaps, and so forth. But there's also sensors in your home. You know, it used to be for a long time that the only sensor in your home was a thermostat. Uh, now people are starting to install smart devices, devices, uh, you know, for instance, smart thermostats that track our behavior, that track our whereabouts when we're in the home, when we leave, when we come back, um, to a point where they can start to de the intelligence can start to develop uh, an understanding of your daily routine. Uh, even smart speakers uh, like the Amazon Echo are starting to have this capability where you'll be able to connect uh, your Amazon Echo to say kitchen appliances. And so the sensors are the way for this networked intelligence to gather that input. And the sensor might consist of, you know, voice recognition, voice command. It might be something visual, some sort of machine learning. Um, there's many ways now for that network, networked intelligence to detect the world around us. And of course, at the same time, again, this is a, another example of where we need machine readable, consistent, persistent identity. Um, because those machines have to be understanding exactly what devices they're connecting to, um, exactly what items they're recording, tracking, and inter interacting with.